Today's Mass Readings July 11, 2020 Saturday of the 14th week in Ordinary Time First Reading A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah Isaiah chapter 6 verse 1 to 8 In the year King Uzziah died, I saw the Lord seated on a high and lofty throne, with the train of his garment filling the temple. Seraphim were stationed above. Each of them had six wings. With two they veiled their faces, with two they veiled their feet, and with two they hovered aloft. They cried one to the other, Holy, Holy, Holy is the Lord of hosts. All the earth is filled with his glory. At the sound of that cry, the frame of the door shook, and the house was filled with smoke. Then I said, Woe is me, I am doomed. For I am a man of unclean lips, living among a people of unclean lips. Yet my eyes have seen the King, the Lord of hosts. Then one of the seraphim flew to me, holding an ember that he had taken with tongs from the altar. He touched my mouth with it and said, See, now that this has touched your lips, your wickedness is removed, your sin purged. Then I heard the voice of the Lord saying, Whom shall I send? Who will go for us? Here I am, I said. Send me. The word of the Lord. Responsorial Psalm Psalms chapter 93 verse 1 to 2 and 5 Let our response be, The Lord is King. He is robed in majesty. The Lord is King, in splendor robed. Robed is the Lord and girded about with strength. The Lord is King. He is robed in majesty. And He has made the world firm, not to be moved. Your throne stands firm from of old. From everlasting you are, O Lord. The Lord is King. He is robed in majesty. Your decrees are worthy of trust indeed. Holiness befits your house, O Lord, for length of days. The Lord is King. He is robed in majesty. Gospel Reading A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Matthew chapter 10 verse 24 to 33 Jesus said to his apostles, No disciple is above his teacher, no slave above his master. It is enough for the disciple that he become like his teacher, for the slave that he become like his master. If they have called the master of the house Beelzebul, how much more those of his household. Therefore do not be afraid of them. Nothing is concealed that will not be revealed, nor secret that will not be known. What I say to you in the darkness, speak in the light. What you hear whispered, proclaim on the housetops. And do not be afraid of those who kill the body but cannot kill the soul. Rather, be afraid of the one who can destroy. Both soul and body in Gehenna. Are not two sparrows sold for a small coin? Yet not one of them falls to the ground without your father's knowledge. Even all the hairs of your head are counted. So do not be afraid. You are worth more than many sparrows. Everyone who acknowledges me before others, I will acknowledge before my heavenly Father. But whoever denies me before others, I will deny before my heavenly Father. The Gospel of the Lord. Before we proceed with the video, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel. Also, please hit the notification bell so you won't miss out when we release new videos. Feel free to share your comments, suggestions and reflections at the comments section down below. Thank you and God bless. Now, let's proceed with the video. The Reflection on Today's Gospel the underlying message of these various sayings of Jesus is encouragement. When events go against us, we are to remain confident, trusting in God's care. We are not to be deterred in the face of opposition. Why? Because Jesus is with us always. We read here of the sovereignty of God over all creation. His loving regard extends even to the hairs of our head. He is aware of a sparrow lighting on the ground. 
how much more of his attention do I enjoy? Given that I am the apple of his eye, created in his own image and likeness. So whatever happens, I am not to be afraid. All will be well for me. Without neglecting our basic equality, I can realize that I have much to learn from others. I ask for the humility I need to remain a learner and disciple. It is enough for me to be like Jesus. I am made in the image of God. I pray that I may bear in mind how deeply I am honored and blessed by God's love for me.